Well, I guess I better put my money where my mouth is and show you this, which is the Wi-Fi range extender from TP-Link. It's not a regular Wi-Fi extender because this is a range extender uh, in the Wi-Fi 6 class that also functions as a one mesh extender, which uh, makes it uh, pretty cool. But I'm not actually going to use it as one. If you take a look at the, the side here, you can see that it is an access point. And the access point mode is actually what I'm interested in, because I want something to compete with this little thing. Now, in my initial review of the AirBridge, I said that it had, like, exceptionally short range. Uh, which is a problem for me, because I want to play in this area. Um, so, I needed to find an alternative, and as I theorized, I think that actually just using a new router, or in this case a range extender, and setting that up as an X access point, that will actually function as a better air bridge than the Lynx air bridge. So, without further ado, let's try this out. So, here's the unit. It's actually pretty big, like if you compare it to the D Link, it's, uh, it's pretty big. But you can consider that this is pretty much your own router, really. So, I guess it's okay. It has like this nice antennas, which will give us a really long range. So you can see that you have a, a little um, network connector here in the end. And that can be used if you're using this as, a, as an extender, you can use this as a wired connection like for your TV or for your game console to get a directly wired connection to your Wi-Fi. But if you don't use it like that and you use this as a switch, you can also use this as an access point, meaning that you can connect the network directly into this port, so it doesn't actually use Wi-Fi signal to repeat that, it actually just repeats the actual network and creates like a new point for that network. Most of it is actually controlled through this uh, very smart little app here that you can download from the Play Store or the App Store. Uh, I already use uh, TP-Link for my network here at home, and this now has my uh, original router and it has my uh, local extender downstairs, uh, which is not Wi-Fi 6. I just use that to connect to all my devices that are dependent on 2.4 gigahertz networks. So they have their own little access point down there. But I'm gonna use this to connect to Wi-Fi 6, 5, point, uh, 5 gigahertz network that is only connected to my headset. So what do you need, except for this? Well, you're gonna need a network cable. Uh, that you can take from your router to this. And a good extension cord is also very nice just to get it away from the router and you can move it about uh, or just find a place for it close to your router. Now the good thing about this is that you can bring it with you uh, anywhere you're going uh, and plug it into their router and it or their network and it should pretty much have the same effect as uh, the bridge. Okay, so Yoda over there is uh, keep an eye out on uh, my router, and then we're gonna see if we can't uh, make this work. Okay, so like an idiot, I tried to go straight to the web client, I was too good to use like the regular app. Uh, that's a dumb idea, just use the normal app and install the extender using the tutorial that comes with the product, and when you're done with that, then you can do this. Okay, so it will work to actually install this thing. But in the end, you should end up with a network that is actually working a lot better for your VR headset. So what we've done now is that we're taking the extender from our network. And actually, there's a lot of the functions that you don't have in the web client that you actually can only get uh, to in uh, the actual app here, which is kind of strange. Uh, so, and you might also need to set it up first as a normal extender and then go in and change the, the user experience. This is what you, what you do again. You go to tools and then you go to operations mode and you make sure to have it on access point. And then you go in and you create a wireless network. Turn off the 2.4 gigahertz because you don't want to use that. You want to use the 5 gigahertz for the best quality. 
and uh, you also have a, a few different options here. You can then like uh, do the covering down if you want to use less uh, power, for example. You can take that down, and uh, you got uh, you can enable internet. You can turn off internet, and you can also uh, 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 do a really restricted uh, access control, and just like may maybe only your headset can actually connect to this, which is actually a pretty good idea to do. But uh, for now, um, I'm just going to try it like this. So we're not going to need this cable anymore, which is great. Let's produce the rubble. Although, just quietly, we will need to rebuild society first, you know, to get some basic infrastructure, jobs, money, that sort of thing. Otherwise, people won't be able to buy them, you know. So, uh, yeah, three-year plan. Let's slot the infrastructure thing in for year two. Oh, yeah, definitely. You're going to want to put that in here, too. I have absolutely no stuttering. Let's take a look for that 10 second stutter that always happens. Nothing. It's perfectly smooth. There's no right being in this mood. It works perfectly. Oh, my. oh careful, careful! Yeah, yeah. So let's uh, teleport us. So, using a simple extender as an access point with Wi-Fi 6, important, 5 GHz, important, that is 10 times more reliable than this thing. And I have better performance now on that thing than I do connecting directly to my router, which is really cool. So I'm looking forward to playing some wireless games now. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a proof of concept, and I'm glad I did that because uh, this is going to be great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I'll talk to you next time.